Let's get these two two-channel amplifiers, this subwoofer amplifier, and this digital signal processor wired. After drilling and tapping some holes, I can mount and wire the first connection to our fuse block. I want to secure all of this wiring to the amplifier rack with evenly spaced zip ties, so I'm using the 5 star wire ruler. With the power and ground wires connected, next I need to connect the remote turn on wire. I'll also be using that wire to activate an additional circuit for additional components within the vehicle. I also added RCA wires to send the output signal from the digital signal processor to each of the amplifiers, and here I'm also connecting the power wiring for it. Next, I connect grounding links to the ground distribution block from New Concepts, and then also install the properly sized fuses on the positive side. We can now mount this full assembly into the vehicle, and I would love to show you the rest of this build, so if you want to see more details, be sure to come on over to my YouTube channel, Car Audio Fabrication.